How does a master enter into existence? Every moment the form keeps on changing. When I say form means consciousness keeps on changing. You are a flow that is constantly changing. Heraclitus said you cannot enter the same river twice. But this may sound to you to be a strange words. I had been entering the same river over and over again, but you are ignorant. One, not awakening is there. A river is a flow. Each moment the water is different because it is flowing. When something is flowing, it is never static. Sometimes there is sun, next moment there is a shadow. Every moment things are changing. When you look into your relationship, one moment you are loving, your compassion, your love overflows towards your spouse, your children, your friends. Next moment it is no more there. What it is said, awareness implies live every moment totally full of awareness. This very moment may not come back to you. This moment will certainly not come back to you. If life is sun, it is changing. One moment there is shadow, next moment there is sun. So too is the case with our innerness. Master is the one who lives totally into this present moment. Because that moment alone is sublime. I speak to you of the Nakshbandi Sheikh, Hazrat Ramchandra Razi Allah Ta'ala Uno. Razi Allah Ta'ala Uno is a way that we use for the Sufi masters. Razi Allah Ta'ala Uno means one with whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is in harmony. If a person is very intelligent and doing things that are supposed to be done, then everyone is in harmony with him with his decisions, with his rooks. But if you are erratic in your decisions and not sure, then people doubt your capabilities. Master understands the way the existence has to function. He knows he can envision beyond time and space. When a particular circumstance or situation comes, he knows the cause of it. He is not bewildered by it in any way. And sorrow comes when happiness comes. He is equanimous amidst all these circumstances. He remains in the middle. Neither the happiness nor sorrow disturbs him. That is why it is said that the existence is in harmony with that person. And we use the, cap the slogan, the word, the phrase. Razi means in harmony, in acceptance. Allah is referred to that authority. Tala Uno, God is in harmony with such a being. It happened that Ramchandra Razila Tala Uno, popularly known as Lalaji, he was suffering from a stomach problem that is called that you cannot digest the food. So he was called, someone was sent to call the doctor, the doctor of Ayurveda, the Indian system of medicine. It was afternoon time when the message was sent to him. He said, when it is the last time, then you call me. Why you didn't call in the end? At this, Ra Lalaji Razila Tala Uno said, I have never been afraid of death. I know, but you seem to be unaware. You seem to be unaware Death is knocking at whose door, mine or yours. It happened that afternoon, after having the meals, he went to sleep and this doctor never got up from his sleep. My grandmother Nakshbandi Shakuntala Devi narrated me the incident and it happened that there he was given a medicine that was not the correct medicine. He took the medicine in his hand and he said, let thy will prevail. If this is the will of the masters, I take this medicine. After that, he told everyone to leave the room and in the room were allowed his master Shah Abdul Ghani Khan Razi Allah Ta'ala his younger brother 
Chacha Ji Razi Allah Ta'ala Unu, my grandmother Shakuntala Devi and his son Mahatma Jagmohan Narayan and my grandfather Mahatma Brij Mohan Lal, all these people were in the room and they were constantly nourishing him with their energy field. He started narrating that the life force is receding from the toe. Now there is no life force in the big toe. Big toe, can anything be done to it? And there is no feeling from that. Then slowly and slowly as it was receding from the different parts because consciousness or the life force releases from the lower parts first. Otherwise, if it is not receded from that systematically from that part, then a certain traces of that remain in that part of the body as well. Then he said, now it has reached up to the knee, the calf, the knee, the thighs, and when it reached the heart center, it said it is now receding from the heart center. Now it has receded from the throat center. After this, I will not be able to because it is releasing from this, exiting from the throat center. After this, I will not be able to narrate anything. And when it was released as if a big ball of light released from his forehead and dispersed in the cosmos. This my grandmother told me she so envisioned it clearly and he entered into Mahasamadhi. And it was said according to the Sufi masters, if at the time of the cremation, if a serum like, because it will not be a fresh blood because if somebody dies, the body becomes cold, but its warmth is maintained. And if at the time of cremation or before that, if a serum like fluid or blood comes out from the aids or nose or eyes, that means the particular master has sacrificed his life at the altar of the Divine. And that's how he entered into Samadhi. His younger brother, one afternoon, when it is time for him to leave, he sent everybody for one excuse or the other, you go and get the doctor, next one you go and do this. He sat down on his bed, he squatted, his concert, Jai Devi was with him. And then in that state, he entered into Samadhi and by the time the others came, the body was no more. He was no more alive. Masters like to do these things in solitude or in the company of those who are aware of this phenomenon of entering into existence. Otherwise, because of attachment, emotions and so, we create, we lament because the other is leaving the physical body. And it happened that there he had many people working within. There was a person who was the cook. He came from the Brahman clan and he never allowed him to touch his feet because of the traditional way of the status that you cannot allow the Pandit, the person from that caste clan, touch the feet. So it happened when it was the, his, he entered into Mahasamadhi, he was in a squatting position. Now that position has changed, he has to put to lie down. So this particular cook, Maharaj, he tried to held his feet to pull it so that position can be changed from squatting to lying down. All of a sudden he felt that he pulled his feet and he was pushed and fell on the ground. In his lifetime, he has never allowed this person to touch his feet. How can he allow when he is no more physically? This is how he entered into Mahasamadhi. My grandfather, Mahatma Brajmohan Lal Razi Allah Ta'ala Unu, after his retirement from the government, from the job, he used to visit different people and there was a magazine that used to publish every month which used to give the program of his journey, travels and so. So people who were on the way, on the route, they will come and meet him. On 6th of January 1955, the program was published for his journey from Lucknow, the city of Lucknow to Mumbai. 
but there was no plan for his return journey, no program. And nobody noticed that the masters, the program for itinerary for the travel is only one. During the way he visited many cities, when he came to the hometown where we were living, my mother asked him that she would like to accompany him. At this he said that you will go with me, but with whom would you come back? It never struck her that he is going and if she is going with him, definitely he will return, so she will return with him. Other cities when he visited, he told other seekers, disciples, family members. To some he said that on my way back you accompany us. But none of these people had the plan. They were kept under the influence of the master's energy that they will not be able to know the plan of the master and master can enter into Samadhi knowingly, willingly, peacefully. It happened 17th of January 1955. He reached the city of Mumbai in the morning. In the evening he had a meditation session and he spoke on the message of forgiveness of Ram. That is the story from the Hindu scripture Ramayana. He said Ram was so benevolent, kind, compassionate that he forgot even the staunch enemy who caused so much pain to his concert Sita and all this. This is the quality of an enlightened one. This is the quality of a religious one. This is the quality that every seeker has to inculcate in him because whatever is happening, the atrocity he has caused or problems he has caused to you is your own doing. You are being repaid for all that you have done in the past and you have forgotten. You are not even aware that you had done something to this person and now this person is taking the revenge of that. And with this he said that the soul of Ravan entered in that of Ram and he flicked his finger. He said just like this and he became unconscious. He entered into Mahasamadhi. When the message reached all those people whom he has said that they will accompany him, they accompanied and when they looked at the entire set of events, they realized that the master did not have the plan for the return journey from Mumbai to Lucknow. A man of awareness does everything, even entering into death consciously. It is said about Ospensky, who was the disciple of Gurdjieff, that he wants to die while walking and he continued to walk until he fell down and he entered into death because he wanted to experience what happens in the moment of death. Normally people die in a state of sleep or unconsciousness. They are not aware of all this. This is the way totally aware, singing and dancing, one enters, the master enters into death and that is the way each one of us has to learn.